Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're looking at in this video is Amazon's system, Amazon's Fire TV, and what their interface looks like. If you have had a Fire TV in the past, or you have a Fire TV that hasn't been updated, you won't. You probably aren't familiar with this. But if you have the latest updates, which you can do right from settings and about, essentially it's a little different on an older one, but you would go into settings. In this case it's device and about. But that's where you go to get your settings set up. Some devices are going to have already set themselves up automatically. So if one day you woke up and this is what your Fire TV looked like, it's nothing that you did. This is what it's supposed to look like. But I'm going to tell you about how this works and how it's different. First of all, you'll notice the menu is no longer set up with everything on the left side. All of the sort of key controls are across the top. You can find all of your apps right here, and it breaks it up into categories for you. I actually find that's a lot easier to use than its original, for instance, its games menu. It even breaks up the games into different categories. And I like the more I don't know what to call it, more Android-like sort of setup here. Is it gone is the left to right carousel and instead you get these columns. Categories for apps are broken up into logical groupings. Most people are going to want to focus on things like entertainment. So let's see where that's going to be. Bum, bum, bum. Education, finance. Yeah, they act like you're interested in anything else but movies and TV, right? There you are. And that's where you're going to find your movie and TV apps. Now, of course, you can always ask for an app. That still works. You can say, like, Hulu. And see if it finds it. Or, The CW. Now, these are apps that I like a lot. Hulu and The CW. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and add The CW here. Select it. Press OK. And now it's going to bring you to this screen here. Because we already have it, it's on the cloud. All we have to do is bring it in. So we're going to download it. This is helpful if you've actually bought something. And you see that the screen's going to prompt you and let you know other ways to work with things. And we'll show you that a little later. So you're holding the home button. It's pretty cool. I'll show you how that works. So it's downloading and installing, and we're ready to open. And there's your CW app. I'm going to press the little house button, go back to the home screen. But that is a little bit about how the apps work on there. When you see TV shows here, this is going to bring up a lot of different stuff. Some of these things are going to be stuff that you can buy, and some of this stuff is already part of things on the Fire TV's Amazon integration. Like when you say Prime Recommended TV. If I'm thinking correctly, this should be stuff you can watch without purchasing it. Let's see. Yeah, Prime. Watch now with Prime. Mm-hmm. If it says watch now with Prime, that means that you can just watch it. To 
to be more sure on whether you can watch something with Prime, you sneak out of this. And if you're a Prime member, under your channels, there's Prime, and that's broken up into a whole group of sections. Now, this is really cool. If you're an Amazon Prime member, it's going to have things all set up for you with all these great categories. This is the best setup I've seen for this so far. I really like the really sharp app that looks like an old Fire TV that you see on a lot of smart TVs now and Roku. But in general, this is a fun, easy to follow system. You see what it's doing, more like Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls. Best of TV is just, I guess it's subjective. But it even has kind of fun categories. I like the digital shorts section. But you see it breaks things up, helps you find what you're looking for via categories. And that is where you're going to find all of your prime video content. See, this is a lot different than it used to be where the whole screen is kind of taken up with mostly Amazon video stuff. Gives you access to a lot more apps up front. Now something else about this, let's see, I'll go back up to the top, go into your videos, and these are places, this is stuff that you've either watched or have on your watch list. Put your channels on there, and then make some recommendations. See, so they're starting to play more nicely with Netflix, for instance. You say Netflix recommends. And I believe you can also access the things that you own. There's a lot to these menus, but they are at least pretty. There we are, your video library. We don't own a whole lot of digital stuff. But my daughter just loves the Phantom of the Opera, so we got that for her. But I like this setting. I mean, this is just... I think they've made it easier to find things without making you concentrate solely on Amazon stuff. So your app rows here are pretty nice. And then they even recommend a couple of things down here. Now, you might have noticed that notation on the apps. And that, what that's talking about is this. When you hold down the home button, which is the house button in the middle, I mean, you can't mistake it for anything else. It's obviously a house. It pulls up this menu here. From here, you can obviously access settings. If you want to mirror with an Android phone to your Fire TV, you can do that from here. You can put it to sleep and access all of the apps that you have either installed or own in the cloud. Now, I like this because if you sideload something like Kodi, you can get right to it from your home screen. So, I like that a lot. Otherwise, most people are going to show you some kind of a setup like, you know, we'll say they go into settings and go to applications and then manage installing applications. You see, see how that's a, a whole lot of steps all to get to the same place? So, that's really helpful. Now, you're still going to need to go in there if you need to shut something down. But, in general, that is just a little bit about how this works. Now, something I really like about having a Fire TV, especially when you've got Prime, is it lets you in on their music. Like, you can look into the music section and explore it all you want. 
you know, anything you've bought from them, you know, it makes playlists, and that's all cool. But you can even just ask it. You know, this has Alexa integrated, so you can go into the search and just ask for something like, let's say, Beatles music. And see, there you go. Got all these choices of Beatles stuff. All oh, right, a commercial. Here, we're not gonna have to sit there watching a commercial. <laughs> See if it will play something for me. Alexa, play Hard Day's Night. Alexa, play Hard Day's Night. A Hard Day's Night by the Beatles. Boom. <laughs> And see, what it's doing now is it's just pulling from its music that it owns. So you can either look through things, you can pull up the categories, or you can ask for things. We'll try something more modern. Uh, Alexa, play Bruno Mars. Shuffling songs by Bruno Mars. Today I told you that I love you. Let's see. Alexa, play Uptown Funk, Bruno Mars. Fun, huh? And so, you know, this is this is really helpful. You walk in, you just want to kill time, you know, relax. You can just ask your Fire TV to just queue up music for you. That's, of course, like I said, if you are a Prime member. So, that's a little bit about how the Fire TV works. I guess before we go, we ought to follow its one suggestion of asking it to open Netflix. Open Netflix. Bang, let's say. Open Sling Television. Here's what I found. Alright, let's see. Open Sling TV. Here's Sling TV. Live and on demand. Live and on demand. That's really funny. Obviously it means live and on demand. <laughs> cool. Okay. So I hope you found this helpful in review, remember? hold down the home button that's going to pull up your cool screen here talking to it opens things you want your music Alexa play kids music I wonder where that'll pull up huh okay fun stuff but that's that I hope you found this helpful and if you did, please subscribe. We've broken 10,000 subscribers recently, and I'd like to get more. We love to share information. We love to teach. And we love to help people understand their technology better. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.